Inspector General, I must complain to you in the strongest possible terms about your so-called true-to-life drama series, Inspector Morse. Every week we see murder, robbery, crime and even stealing portrayed as everyday events in the wonderful city of Oxford. I live in Oxford and I know that it is the finest place in the world. A place of decency, old buildings and lovely trees. Stop it at once, because I like it and it's not fair. Lots of love, Barney, your nephew. P.S. Why isn't Inspector Morse on the BBC? I don't like to watch ITV, it's too common. Out of here. Well, this course they've uh, served their sentence and then they're uh, free to go, of course. Not even Clint Eastwood. He wouldn't get out of here. Well, he's not in here, is he? No, but he escaped from Alcatraz in that film. What? Dirty Harry? No, escaped from Alcatraz. Oh, yeah, the great escape from Alcatraz. No, no, that was Steve McQueen on a motorbike. No, it was Clint Eastwood. He used a paper he must say pretended. Here? Yeah. That's a good idea, isn't it? Yeah, but it wouldn't work here. Nah. Because no one gets no out one of here. Gets out of here. <laughs> no, I will. Well, not unless the dad's the old secretary. All right. <laughs> I just don't understand it at all. You see, my father's the home secretary. Yeah? My mum's a secretary. Oh. Well, I think it's all just one big silly mistake and a rather unfortunate misunderstanding. Who are you in for? Only the hardest, most vicious geezers get banged up in this place. <laughs> well, I'm supposed to have blasted an old lady's head off with the sawn off shotgun. Yeah, everyone in here's done that before. And worse. Can you imagine it? Me! I couldn't harm a flea. Although I did once burn an ant with my cousin's magnifying glass. Cousin Timmy said if I got the Shut magnifying glass. Shut up, mate, and listen to me. When you're in here, stay quiet and keep your head down. Don't go looking for trouble. There's enough trouble in here already. And if it wants to find you out, it soon will. And when it does, it'll be very nasty and very, very bloody. Yeah, very, very nasty and very, very, very bloody. Oh, I didn't expect to still be in here today. I suppose you're here for years, aren't you? Me? I was born here and I'll die here. One miserable year rolls slowly into another. I'll be out soon. When, when I'm out, will you write to me so I can tell all my friends I know a criminal? Look out, keep your head down. Trouble's coming. I want some smoked salmon on top of my scrambled eggs, and then some kedgeree. Look, mate, it's for your own good. Shut it. It's the daddy. The daddy's here. Oh, daddy, I knew you'd come. Not your daddy. The daddy. Oh, hello. You're very mean. What are you in for? Not paying your poll tax? Oh, previous. Bodily ill. Or in my case, Justifiable brutality. What are you in for? Curly. Don't, Daddy. He's in here for wasting someone with a sawn off shotgun. Leave him alone. He's bad, he's dangerous. You don't want to know him. Oh, don't listen to him, Daddy. I couldn't kill anyone. No, I'm just a weak member of the ruling classes. Where's your tool? Don't, Daddy, don't do it. Don't... You, stay out of my face. Where's your tool? I haven't got one. I've never done any manual labour. Look at my hands, as smooth as a baby's bottom. I see. Where's she too? Oh, I see. I'm going to get a good, severe beating. It's just like being back at boarding school, isn't it? Here you are. Jim. Rover. He's dead. He was hit by a car. And your dad's run off with someone I don't even know. And I'm leaving the country. So you won't have anyone to visit you. You enjoy your life, Mum. My life's here. In this hellhole. 
I'm afraid I have to inform you that your great aunt Agatha died from syphilis. Oh, goody! I should inherit at least half a million. Super snazzy. Poor old Rover. Hey, kid. Sorry to hear about your auntie. Oh, yes. Awful. Still, good job she was loaded. Yeah, that's the way I'd like to go. By the way, it's your turn to empty the bucket. Oh, goody. A nice bucket. Let's celebrate. Oh, it's warm and it smells. Keep quiet, kid. It's trouble. Hello, Daddy. Do you want to beat me again? Hello, Curly. Listen, me and the boys are going to go over the top tonight. I'll come round to see you to make sure you don't grass. I'm going to silence you for good. It's all right, Daddy. He won't say a word. I've got a much better idea. Oh, yeah. What's that, Curly? Excuse me. What is it? Soft? Excuse me, but this gentleman here is planning to escape, and I think he wants to kill me as well. So I'd like to leave now, if I may, if you don't mind. What are you saying, Curly? I'll have you finished. No one gets out of here. Yeah, no one gets out of here. Hey, you're not Clint Eastwood, are you? Yeah, you haven't got a papier-mâché pretend head, have you? No, this is all my own hair. No one gets out of here. No one! Not unless his dad's the Home Secretary. <laughs> oh, but my father is the Home Secretary. Is he? Yes. What? Really? Yes. Well then, um, off you go then. Yes. Sorry. Dear Director General, oh blow it, dear Uncle. Last night on the television, I was shocked to see that awful film with Clint Eastwood, Escape from Alcatraz. I've been in Borstal and paid my debts to society, and I know that escaping is not as easy or as simple as making a papier-mâché pretend head. Hold this. Are you playing hide and seek? Could I play with you? I like that game. Nobody get your 